Hi everyone and welcome to our vintage Christmas kit release. You are going to love this. If you're into Christmas creating, this is now November. Um, we're kind of getting into that spirit that temperatures have cooled. We're starting to see the commercials on TV, everything else. Obviously, we've released a, a couple of Christmas items already and more to come. Uh, you are kind of starting getting in that spirit and you kind of want to start on things and you're not quite sure. It really is the time. Uh, you know, if, if you can make a little bit of time right now, it really pays off huge come December when things start getting a little frenzied and you're, you know, having Christmas parties to go to or you're, you know, trying to get gifts together or get your decorating done or, you know, baking, whatever it is, there's so much to do. So November is the perfect time in order to, number one, do some Christmas stuff, whether that is preparing for your Christmas decor and you're using some of these items for it, whether you are creating uh, unique Christmas gifts, whether that's journals or uh, scrapbook mini albums or full albums or uh, you're making your own Christmas cards, all those things, that is a November item to do. Put that on your to-do list. Put it on the calendar. Mark it on there because seriously, it, it, we all know how busy things get when, when December comes around. So at least you'll have these things done. And let's be honest, today's in today's day and age, we all want something customized. We all want something that is really a perfect fit for that person or for ourselves and this is the only way you can do it is by creating it yourself you know exactly what that what you want and you know exactly what you want to create for that specific person because of uh, the things they like or who they are as a person um, there is nothing more special than than giving somebody something that is handmade and is specifically for them so this is our bundled vintage Christmas and obviously again for those of you that are new to us our bundles include all five coordinated products in one big product. You buy it as one and you do save 20% uh, versus purchasing each of these items individually. And trust me, you are going to want this entire bundled collection because of all that it can, contains. Here is the start of it. Great banners that you can place in and you'll see uh, uh, how to use these when, when I show you the, the scrapbooking layout page idea and the card making idea at the end of this video. Uh, fabulous, fabulous items to use. You are going to see so many things like this Dear Santa. Look at how richly done this is. That is so well done and you just plop it into your, whether that's your uh, cards, your layouts, your mini albums, your journals, um, whatever it is, whatever paper craft you are doing, uh, explosion boxes, you name it. Those, These are the things that you can just pop right in and move along quickly. So that allows you to create four multiple people number one or multiple items like if you're doing Christmas cards you know a lot of us uh, you know we were doing friends we're doing family things like that you know you want to create six eight ten of these cards like you know in order to send out you, you want those things in order to be able to easily create look at the papers as well here's the collage there's two of these in here look at how easy that is think about this if this was your front card front or this was your front to your uh, scrapbooking album Look, look at how it's already done for you. You can move along so quickly and rapidly. Here's one that's a little less done. You have the, that background in the paper. Now you can embellish the front of it with however you see fit. Maybe you want to put photos on this. Maybe this is a, a, a scrapbooking page layout and you, you want to just add some stuff to this. Great items so that like Mary Fran has, has really honed her kits in a way that you get items so you can be as creative as you want. So you have these you know, beautiful damasks and things like that. You have lots of parts and pieces and ingredients. But you also have those finished items like the poinsettias in, in these stationary backs and things like that. You know, So that, that way you have finished items. You can easily progress quickly through things and create quickly. But still have those absolutely stunning results that your recipient is going to look at and say, Holy man. You have gone through so much work for me and this is truly me. Thank you for this wonderful, wonderful gift or whatever it is that you're, you're creating. Um, you know, that is kind of the point of it all, like I said earlier. So as you can see, there is so many ways you can take this. And here is our, the embellishments here. Here's bo a book plate in that metal format, that real vintagey feel. This one has peace and joy written in for you. This one's blank, so you can write in whatever you want, whether that's a name, a date, uh, another sentiment, whatever it is, right? Um, obviously, we know some people say Merry Christmas, some people say Happy Christmas. This gives you that option in there. Some buttons, uh, again, different formats of buttons, different colors in the coordinates. 
so that that way you have everything you need in order to, to work with it. Card labels, again, how great is that? A fully finished in that vintage style. You can use this as a an embellishment. You can use this as a card front. Um, you know, your imagination, the front of your journal, um, your imagination is can be anything. You can use this as a gift tag. You know, like whatever you want to do with it. There is so many options. Great circle elements. Again, here's a whimsical one with Santa. Here is beauty it, done with the, the white poinsettia, the acorn, the holly, the branches. Uh, and there's one in joy. You know, like I said, Merry Christmas. There's another one. Mary Fran just does so many things in here um, to, to give you such creative options. Here's a great cluster and another one as well. So again, great starting points for you. Those are your main elements that you can use. I'll show you how I use that in my card making idea at the end. A, a fabulous envelope. Look at that. Isn't that just, a, you know, you can, you can do so much with all of these items here. A glittering frame in gold. Obviously, you know, this is a red, green, and gold collection. You know, that was the, the impetus behind it is they're very, very traditional colors. Here's some journal mats, which make fabulous items. Again, when you're doing uh, photo albums, mini albums, even cards, these can be great card inserts. Make your card really shine. A lot of cards these days now are quite intricate in terms of their design and how they fold out and everything else. Incorporate a journal mat into that so it gives you lots of room to write because maybe you want to have just a simple sentiment, but maybe you want to make it almost like a Christmas letter in there. Hey, we did this this year. Love this when we saw you in, in the summer, whatever. Um, you know, wishing you a, a Merry Christmas or a Happy Christmas. You've got so many options with them. Here we are with the labels. Look at how vintage feeling these are. Aren't these just fantastic with the worn look? Um, you know, here it is in, in the craft paper. Uh, you know, there are so many things that you can do with this. Again, metal frame here for you to use. And these metal tags, you're going to see some here and some in the little bits, different ones in the little bits. These are just great, aren't they? You, and again, I'll show you how they're how we use them in our scrapbooking and, and card making uh, options at the end. You're going to see how fabulous they, they look in there. Ornaments, again, very elegant, very vintagey, very traditional. Um, these and, and there it is in the sparkle. This is very grown-up stuff, you know, uh, so that, that way you can use it for all of your friends and family. There's going to be something for everyone in here. Here are the paper trees. Look at this with the sparkle, the all the, the doily, you know, the piece in terms of the, the word tag, all done for you. And then here are the ones that are more blank so that that way you can embellish it the way you see fit. Uh, phrase labels, again, Easy to pop right in. If Take a look at those always when you begin creating. Is there something that works perfectly for me or close enough? Boom, pop that in there. Away you go off creating uh, with other items. But it does give you also a color palette to work with and kind of gives you a, a rough frame and a rough feel of, of how you're going to complete the rest of, of your paper craft, right? There is a great postmark, which works just like a digital stamp, okay? So you want to make, make sure you want to use that where everything behind shows through. You can put that on a background paper. You can add that to your uh, embellishments when, when you're making things, whatever you want to do. Fabulous postcard. Think about this. If you printed that off, wrote it on the back, why couldn't that make for a lovely Christmas card? What, you know, we all receive so very little actual mail these days. It's just bills and junk mail. Isn't that nice to receive? Doesn't that harken you back to the to the years where you used to, to get those? That's a great thing to do. Stamps, again, great vintage feel to them. Easy, easy to create with. Good wishes to you this Christmas. As you can see, you can certainly use this as a journaling tag, but you could certainly use this as a uh, uh, gift tag as well, right? Very easy to do. Here is a layout. Mary Fran has included a completed layout for you. You can see where you can pop these two areas where you simply can pop in your pictures. When you create it, whether you're printing this or whether you're doing this digitally and keeping it digitally, this is simple to do because these areas are already cut out for you. So you can place your photos in behind this layout, orient them, shrink them, do whatever you need to do. That way when you print, everything is all one solid page and you've got one photo in behind this photo it all works out 100% perfect. 
super, super easy to do. And if you have questions like, well, gee, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how to print or, you know, I'd like a little more information on printing. Go to our how to section right here on our Knitwick Collections YouTube channel. It'll show you everything you ever wanted to know. Our how to section walks you through everything from the basics uh, right through into, into a midi, uh, kind of a medium frame of uh, skill level. Washi tape pieces, again, great decorative items that give you texture, color, in order to fill in little areas that you wanted those to, to bring those to, right? And we also have a cluster of them. And again, I'll show you how Mary Fran chose to use these in her scrapbooking layout. Those are great things. And word strips. Again, like I said to you before, the vintage feel is fabulous with that weathered, worn look. Uh, and as well, use these if these are, that is the, the sentiment that you are looking to, to convey. Excellent starting point for you. So that's everything included in just the FQB itself. In the little bits, here we are with some belly bands. Now you can use those if you are doing scrapbook pages and are printing things. Um, fabulous items to, so that way you just glue the ends here. Just glue, and then that way you can slide in a photo, you can slide in a journal card, whatever you want to use. But if you're doing it digitally, use these as great big, uh, you can shrink them or, or do whatever in order to size it appropriately to go across your card, to go across your layout, to go across your uh, journal, things like that. Uh, you know, these are such useful items. And again, very vintagey feel, all the worn edges, all that kind of stuff, just give it such, such pizzazz, right? Clustered elements, again, fully finished for you. The little bits is the place to start. When you're creating multiple items, get in here, have a look at what's offered and that will give you some inspiration and think, oh yeah, I really wanna do this in this color. I really love that cluster. That's gonna start me right off. Pop it onto your creative page and away you go. This is, here's how Mary, Mary Fran chose to use the frame as she made a word art out of it. Why couldn't you take this and use this as card front? Uh, an embellishment on your layout page, whatever it is, you know, you have so many options there. Um, and because you have the blank frame, and let me just go back to that, because you have this blank frame, you also are going to get the solid paper included in the solids pack. Well, all you have, if you would prefer Happy Christmas, well, the frame comes in the FQB, the paper comes in, or use whatever paper you want, but if you like that one, comes in the solids and you write in happy Christmas in the fonts that you have on your computer printed out and away you go. So simple way in order to to vary that, right? Again, more word strips for you. Great starting and jumping off points for you in order to look at these first and then begin your creating because you know what items you already have created for you that Mary Fran has taken such diligence in order to do. Here is our two paper pack. Again, because you're creating multiple items, you want coordinates, but not the exact same one. I don't want to have to use the exact same paper three times over. You know, you don't want such rep repetition. But these in different colors, you have seen all these same patterns in the FQB, but not in these colors. These colors are specific only to the two paper pack. So again, no duplicates in any of the stuff that you're getting or using. These are additional and give you basically more options. Here are the solids like I was talking about earlier. Uh, the solids with a, this great stitched border and then a little bit of pattern in the center, they make great standalone background papers. Fabulous! These are easy to use as standalone papers and you can embellish everything. Remember how we had that digital postmark stamp? We have the poinsettias, we have so many more embellishments in the metal tags and all that stuff. Even putting a cluster on here to start with, whatever you want to do. You certainly can use those in that, for, in, in that format as a page to build with but also don't forget to use them if you're looking for a coordinate that you want to back a page or you want to use it in your cards as your very, very starting page and then you, you put more paper on top, layer more paper on top of this. Perfect because they are 100% color coordinated for you and that way you everything flows so, so nicely for you. Lastly, this is our Vintage Alpha for our Vintage Christmas. Use these, again, I've said this, I know I'm a broken record, fast forward through me on this point if you want, but really challenge yourself to use these. Use these for names, dates, initials, uh, sentiments, whatever it is, use these because they give such life to it. And I'll show you, Mary Fran included the, the word joy in these letters in the FQB. And I'll show you how she used it here in just a couple of seconds when I show you the scrapbook layout inspiration and the card inspiration. 
um, I will show you how great they look so that it'll give you an, a full example of it, right? And that is the, the full alpha. So let's go in and have a look at these. Uh, here is the layout. There's how Mary Fran paired together the joy. See how it just gives it that little sense of, hey, that's really nice. That, that gives a real interesting little look to it. But again, here's how Mary Fran used the washi tape in the cluster. Here's how, she, there it is down here. Here's how she chose to use one of the clusters. Here's she, how, how she chose to use one of the frames to just accentuate and bring that glitter in there. Same thing with the tree. She, this is a plain tree, paper tree, that she didn't embellish at all. Just wanted to give the look of that tree. Just to give the, the, the uh, background hint of, oh, Christmas tree, right, right, right. Like, you know, I'm in a Christmas layout. That's how I used it. Here's how she used the banner, right? Uh, Christmas tree, this is one of the uh, uh, collage papers. Okay, this is the one that was not as embellished and she chose to embellish it uh, exactly how she, she saw fit. And look at how she's journaled down the side here. What a fabulous layout. Feel free to, this layout appears on our website underneath the main product image. Um, feel free to scrap lift it. Make this exact layout yourself, whatever you want, but this is also included in the uh, in the FQB without the photos. So you actually get this in there. So you, it's already created for you. Super, super easy. And in the card idea, this is what I was saying earlier. I started out with that Christmas word tag. I knew I just wanted that simple punch of the word Christmas. Now, where do I go from there? Okay, I love this cluster. So I chose to use this cluster. Well, now that takes me on my journey whereby, okay, I know I want to go with predominantly red in here things like that. So that's how I chose the stamp, the poinsettia cluster, this circle element um, that I added to it, things like that. Same thing with the background paper and the backing paper as my damask. You know, it, it really leads you. When you choose your main element, it leads you backwards into, okay, what color should I go with? How much pattern do I want? All that kind of stuff. It really is, is a great way to create. This is also how you can use those metal tags. Look at how wonderful they look in there. They add such a hit of color, uh, traditional Christmas, and the word cheer on it. You know, it, it really does everything. So, folks, that is our vintage Christmas. I hope you have truly enjoyed watching this and seeing everything that's in there so that that gives you the inspiration you need in order to now head off to our store, get this kit for yourself, and begin creating. Like I said, November is your month for creating, so that way you get all of that out of the way. By the time December comes around, you can have time to buy gifts, decorate your house, do some baking, go to those parties, have the people in, really truly enjoy Christmas without being too overly frenzied. Thanks for joining us on this, but before you leave, please look in the bottom right hand corner, click on that Knitwood Collections logo that you see there to be subscribed to our YouTube channel. That's going to make you aware anytime we have new videos put up. As well, give us a thumbs up on the video if you liked it and let us know what you're creating this year. What Christmas gift items you're creating for people or are you creating Christmas cards, uh, stuff for your Christmas decor, whatever it is, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks once again and happy Christmas creating.